We started on it yesterday and I thought, oh boy, this would be a cool thing to show you. Russell is putting together and going to install a gate that automatically opens for us when we push the key fob. Yay! No more. See, right now we just have it latched. We have to move the thing like this and then slide it back every single time we're going to open the gate. But with him working on it, he already installed the solar panel. He didn't install it. He set it up on the post. And we got the box with our batteries in it, waiting for him to attach it to. But he's fixing to do the arms that open the gate itself. And when he does, I'll bring you back. Do I know why you're doing that? So that the legs don't split the post. That makes sense. I was calling them lug bolts, babe. <laughs> playing ball while we were waiting for him. I think I wore him out. He's panting quite a bit in a good way. Look at that tug. <laughs> but he doesn't look like he's tired yet. Look at him. 
only way you got. What you got, Ben Ben? Is that your ball? Huh? You got your ball? Where are you going? Finn, where'd daddy go? Did daddy go to the garage? Huh? Finners. Look at mama. Finn. Finn. Where's the squirrel? <laughs> He's installing the bracket that's gonna hold it onto the fence and then he's gonna hook it up to the arm on the post and we're gonna watch. Oh no, my battery's running low. <sighs> so I guess I'm going to have to just let you see this part and close my phone down, charge my battery, and I guess we'll bring you back after I have more battery life. There we go. Let's show you what it looks like. I don't have a lot of battery life, but I wanted to show you where we're at. He's installing the power station now. Oh God, it's bright out here. And we have both of the arms on the gate. And then once he has the power station all set up, he's gonna t put it in the, the battery box. He'll bury it in the cord. This is where we're at right now. He's checking the gate, make sure everything's level. My perfectionist. I love that about him though, because when he's done, it'll be just perfect. He used the excavator, beat the ground to a pulp. And now he's using his homemade sod cutter where he actually made it to help cut the sod for our garden, the cut flower garden. And I'll insert the video of that very sod cutter right here. My man made a tool for cutting the grass for my soon-to-be cut flower garden. Baby, pull it up and show them what you did. It's a floor scraper. Oh my, that's pretty cool. Uh, it used to be a 12 inch table saw blade. But it's not no more. <laughs> Deep wall. That's pretty smart, baby. We were talking about how he wanted to save his back from having to cut the sod. And I said, well, let's run to Home Depot and get some kind of a tool because they have something like that. He goes, or I can make one. Let me go tinker in my garage for a minute and see what I can come up with. He wasn't even in there 15, 20 minutes and he came out with those. 
Anyhow, he made this tool and is using it to bury the cord. He started burying the cord over here and he's working his way back to the, the panel. He had to break up the tar, but check out this ugly driveway anyhow. It's not like we're gonna keep it. It will be a project later on. put that up and then I guess the next thing is to bury the box. It's not the prettiest thing but we were going to dig this thing up and redo the driveway anyhow. So he's already got a head start on that. That will probably be a later project maybe coming next spring yeah it's too dark out here to really film but he's doing the last bit of wiring right now and he needs me to hold the the light for him so i have to close this down for the night and i'll bring you back tomorrow last night we had to stop i needed to charge my battery anyhow it just got too dark but we did try to Open the gate a couple of times. The right gate that Russell's working on right now kept getting bound up. So he's gonna fix that, adjust it now, and then we gotta go through that box and set up the timing on opening and closing, etc. etc. It was too dark to really get a proper adjustment. So once he's done working on that, he has to grind that little piece of the metal off the bottom of that, tie up the wires, bury the box. And so I will bring you back in a few minutes and show you all of our efforts. Hopefully it opens and closes like we want. In the meantime, Family's still hanging out here with us. This time he brought his moose and he started being all cute again. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get him on camera while I can. Because whenever I pull it out and he notices, he likes to tell me no. 
he'll drop what he's doing and walk away or he'll just sit there and stare at me like, what? <laughs> what do you got, Finley? Why did you pick moose today, huh? <laughs> You've got my water. Darn it, Finn. Okay. <laughs> Could drop this moose down there. He's still working on that side. That side was a lot lower than the other side. And we didn't even realize it. I guess because most of the time I opened the gate inward. Like this one? That one that you were working on. But no, most of the time I would open the gates in, so I never noticed. And the ground outside is a little higher than the ground inside. So we had a little bit of problem with it binding up. So Russell's adjusting the gates. And we haven't had to adjust them. Once we moved in, we just moved in. But this is first time he's making it right, making it ours. And it does take a little bit of tweaking. All right. He adjusted the gate. He just put the cover back on. Now he's gonna zip tie the wires and then bury the box. And when he's all done with that, we'll do a little display so we can show you the working setup. I'm excited. See the way he's got his little paw picked up. That's so cute. He does that all the time. Almost like he's prissy, but he is far from it. I wanted to get it on film, him pushing the button and everything, but he was too fast for me. So gate opens and then we have it set for a nine second hold and then it comes right back it, it clicks on you can hear it here it comes and russell has minimal amount of time before it closes on him Woohoo! yay he took some of the extra dirt and put it over here. Killing two birds with one stone. That's it guys, finished product. Oh wait, not finished. He still has to zip tie, which he brought them out. The cord's all pretty for me on both sides. And he already has that side kind of sort of done. You can't really tell, the cords are kind of pushed back and, but he, this is the last side he did last night in the dark. That's why he's got to do it now. That's the only thing that, and it looks like he got distracted and decided to murder a few weeds for me. <laughs> 
So, and I'm fine with that. So, with that being said, I'm going to let him close us out with a little bit of zip tying. And I will see you back at the next one. Have a blessed day. Thank you.